All right, the wetlands. Here we go. Can we teleport back to the hotel if necessary, though? Topin, this way should lead us right to the wetlands. Let's be sure we're all prepared before we set out. Yeah, I hope. Uh, otherwise, it might be harder to recover CP. I see a orbital station there. Ah, this is more pleroma. Lake Elm Southern Wetlands. Blue pleroma grass. A lot more growing here than on the other side. Is there any reaction from the pendulum, Yuna? Yeah, it's been going on for a while. No. Looks like the Singularity really might be here after all. This could be our chance to sneak around my brother's guards. Is everyone ready? Yeah. Let's go. Do not let your guards down. Okay, I can still teleport back to the hotel if necessary to get the free healing. Or, oh, well, it's Mira healing, actually. This place has an aura that almost reminds me of the forest around Eren. Yeah, I had no idea there was even a place like this in Crossbell. Seeing this place, you could almost believe the story of Saint Ursula and the Wolf really happened. Posey socks. It's kind of hard to tell where I'm allowed to navigate. There! More Divine Knight stuff. Really hope I prepared enough of my orbs. Treasure chest. Crescent mirror R. Yeah, the, I remember that monster was a it was a quest boss before. Now it's a regular enemy that we're expected to deal with on, on a regular basis. Huh. Fishing spot. Zerum powder. Victory is assured. Okay, there's a path going to here. It doesn't have a name. What? Uh. This leads to the Saint Ursula Hospital, which is still blocked off by the Imperial Defense Force. There's no sense in turning back now. Let's keep pressing forward. All right, go all the way to. The, uh, hopefully, there's an Ormond charging station there. Yep. Okay, continue over to water. And there's black pleroma grass this time. Oh, it's a special ormond station. We can do almost anything here except recover CP. Oh, we can also exchange our accessories here. Peach Pecky and Kaiser Mishi. Hmm. Okay, bad news. They will not give me a teleport to the uh, to this uh, to this orbit charging station, which means going back to the inn would prove counterproductive unless I ran past every enemy somehow. That's really inconvenient. Damn, they usually they're usually more merciful about this. Ah, what's up? We hit the jackpot, or what the? Judging by all the black pl pleroma grass, it seems we have. Not to mention on that pillar of light. 
and a glyph carved into the ground. It looks just like... The pillar seems familiar, could it be? Right, looks just like the one we saw in the old schoolhouse. Wait, what? I remember hearing about this from Instructor Reen. Overcoming the trial that allowed him to awaken Valimar. Does that mean there could be... You guys are pretty sharp, aren't you? How curious, though, to run into you all the way out here. Y you The fool! Hey! We meet again, Class 7. I'm glad to see you're all well. Then again, I can't imagine you'd believe anything I'd tell you right now. Scarecrow! You asshole! Wait, is that... Sh Sharon! How lovely to see you again, Class 7. Or perhaps I should say pleasure to meet you, as I am no longer the Sharon you knew. I am once more Ouroboros' Enforcer Number 9, the Severing Eclipse. If all of you are here, then... I take it Governor General Rufus is within that Pillar of Light? Just as we thought. <laughs> right on the mark! Honestly, that's why I was so surprised to see you here. The Governor General made a deal with Heiyue to keep the SSS and Bracers busy so he could finish his business here in peace. We know they'll betray us eventually, of course, but you can't play in the gutter if you're afraid to get dirty. And what harms a betrayal if you know it's inevitable? Besides, someone might have seen to it that their group can wipe out Heiyue and the SSS all at once. No comment. <laughs> Guess that Rufus guy stopped giving a shit about his reputation. Clearly. And once the war with Calvert begins, he'll cast the Syndicate aside too. So this is how the Governor General... No, how the Ironbloods choose to operate, is it? <sighs> Major Arendelle, I don't understand. After everything that's happened, after everything we've lost, why are you still siding with them? You and Major Revelt act like nothing's changed. Did she really mean that little to you? Ellie... You've really grown up, Black Rabbit. You too, Ash. Looks like you found your feet. Honestly, I'm kinda relieved. Answer the damn question! I thought you stood for something. Or are you just another one of Osborne's pawns? Yeah. Pretty much. Thing is, when Claire and I failed to save Milliam, it messed us up pretty bad. I think we both looked to her as a replacement for the family we'd lost. Osborne, on the other hand, was the man who took that family from me. I joined the Ironbloods thinking I'd be able to outsmart him and avenge my dad. But the man operates on a higher level. I mean, a thousand-year-old curse? The Great Twilight? <laughs> when those are the stakes, who the hell can compete? But you need to understand. He unleashed the Great Twilight to end the curse afflicting the Empire. He's taken it upon himself to uproot and reset a power that was all but impossible to fight back against. So I made up my mind. If siding with Osborne lets us create a world where Milliam's sacrifice wasn't in vain, then so be it. And that's how Claire and I will put things right. Uh, <laughs> Bullshit! You don't deserve to speak her name. 
That's why you started this war? To reset everything? How is driving this country to ruin supposed to put anything right? Indeed. It makes my plan shine by comparison. Though I may not know the details of your mission, I see the resolve in your eyes. If you will not back down, your only option is to prove victorious against us. For my part, I will not hold back. I intend to use every underhanded trick at my disposal. This is my way of repaying you for the happy memories you've all given me. Then ready your blade, Sharon Kruger. We won't be stopped here. Not even by you. Ah, to see old friends fighting against each other really gets you right in the heart. But maybe I should step in to really amp up the drama. I could do with a little fun. Especially after I let Lady Bell have the SSS and the Bracers last time. Shut up! Just shut the hell up! I've known this since we met at Orcus Tower, but you? You're the worst! None of this involves you, and you still choose to make things worse for everyone with that crappy little grin on your face! Sharon and the Major are both struggling to make choices they can stand by. But what about you? Do you think about a single thing you do? Does anything even matter to you? Then... You go on to mention the one who betrayed Crossbell! It's time someone knocked that grin off your stupid face! And while we're at it, we are going to expose the Governor General, get to the bottom of whatever you're planning, and... take Instructor Reed back, no matter what! <laughs> Yuna... <laughs> That's exactly right. I have to admit, that one kinda stung. You're clearly getting a bit hot under the collar. My role as Enforcer Number Zero gives me much less freedom than my compatriots, you see. Personal stakes just aren't on the table for me. So, to show I care, this time, I'll actually try. Just a little bit. You made some bold declarations just now. Show me you're not all talk, hmm? Just wait and see! <laughs> it's so rare to see you lose your composure. Maybe I'll follow suit and pull out all the stops, too. Is that...? This is what he did at the Grawl. The Iron Blood's dirty little trick. And the Great Twilight's only made it stronger. It's time you learned what you're really up against! I'll be fighting in earnest as well. Prepare to be eclipsed by death! <laughs> Just hold out as best you can! All oh right. no! <laughs> you sure talk a big game! Now prove it! Let your guard down and you'll soon be eclipsed! <laughs> you won't escape! <gasps> I'll care for you! Thank you! My turn. Okay, so... Should I just spam Chrono Burst in order to easily scan as many people as possible? Even if that wastes a few turns, I feel like it'd be better than nothing. Plus, if I uh, lower their... Uh, uh, decree, uh, if I make it easier to unbalance them, that could work in my favor. And I'll just have to have Gaius spam his S-Craft and hope it doesn't eat up too many turns if I try that tactic. My turn. Scanned. I shall go. My turn. Scanned. My turn. And just scan you normally. Good, everyone scan. It's my turn. Whoa. Pass this real quick, wait. Just 
Chess Art Celebration, actually. Sean. That way there's some bite turn. to might, Frozen e Epic. At least that's how you think I pronounced it, according to Nico B. Leave it to Get a return on my BP. Link you. Chrono Burst. Leave it to me. Howling heavens on everyone. Leave it to me. That did not set them back by much, but eh, some delay is better than no delay. Let's go. Leave it to me. I'll support you. Thank you. Let's go. Oops, I cast it twice. Ah, didn't Thank mean to you. do that shit. Let's go. Just do this. It's my turn. I'm wasting so many turns and hopefully I'll still mash it pulled off. I don't know. Leave it to me. <laughs> it's my turn. Let's see, Zephyr Basil Pasta. Mm, that was delicious. Now. Hmm. Seize. My turn. Laser everyone to death. Reonac activate. Fire. <laughs> now. There! I have ATS uh, 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 really high, and I also have Night Gleam on her, so this should deal a decent amount of damage. Nuke them with ice. Oh, I think that did it. Seems like you're not all talk. I see. Your resolve is commendable. <laughs> You're not bad at all. AP conditions met. G Manage to scan all of them. I think that's a success, even if I did accidentally cast one too many Chrono Bursts back there. Too bad they don't give you Sepif in these battles. Not bad. Not bad at all. This ability of mine is pretty broken, but you really kept up. A splendid performance, everyone. <sighs> Damn, they're strong. The Major really wasn't kidding about his ability. What's worse, they hardly look winded. I have to admit, I'm really impressed. You've all come a long way in the past month. New Class 7 especially. Still, I have to wonder what you're trying to achieve with your little trek around the country. Or maybe it's not the barrier you're interested in at all. Maybe it's the black pleroma grass. Could it be you're hoping to find some clue as to where Reen is? Uh, <laughs> no idea what you're talking about. Ah, so that is it. No wonder you're all fighting so desperately. But be warned. He is imprisoned far from here, in a place of pure darkness and despair. Consider it a mercy, then, that I will crush you here and now. You're welcome to try! What's going on here? Uh. 
Wait, that's class seven. There's a warrant out for them. How did they make it through the blockade? What the heck? Those are the new models we saw before. That's right. Zauber Soldats, I believe they're called. A joint venture between the Black Workshop and the Reinford Group. A brand new weapon of war for the world to enjoy. If the Empire's largest company and the gnomes are working together... Shit, that's one nasty combination. Madness. What's going on here, Kruger? While I'm no longer affiliated with Reinford, I can tell you that these are no ordinary soldats. As proud soldiers of the Governor General, we cannot let this stand! Major Arundel, allow us to apprehend these miscreants. Ah, uh, well, if you insist. Just know they won't go down without a fight, though. Of course we won't! Allie! Right. Clown Slayus! General Purpose Sauber Sold Soldat Zorge. Panzer Soldats. So the reports were true. So be it. An army of them would still be no match for our sword is. They're all cursed. That power. They're using mana? Then these things are just like magic knights? They must have created some way to harness that same energy. <laughs> the fun never ends with these guys. We can't afford to be stopped here. We have to win. Kestrel, should I give Kestrel a try? Hmm. Thing is, Kestrel, uh, Muse is also the best one for healing, huh? But partner is. Even though I can't really put her as a partner here anymore, can I? No, I guess I could. So then I could say put her no say put her onto Spiegel S for the speed boost and for Saffiral Rain. Okay. It's my turn. What? They're already. Roaring to go. Let's get up there, mine! Very well. I hope they can't unbalance me. If they can, I'm screwed. Hmm, head was not the best option, actually. Arms. My turn. Yeah, arm is the best option when in their idle stance. Yeah, it's mine. There. There. What? It's my turn. Hmm. So that guy's gonna target everyone with his craft. Damn it. Well, it could be safer to just defend through it. No, Hector won't get there in time. Shoot. Very well. I'm just gonna have to hope music can heal us all in time. It's my 
my turn. <laughs> yes, good thing I put you in the back for this one. Okay, Sorge Arm. Yes! I think I might be able to break one of you. There! My turn! Are they both going after Ash? Holy moly, they are. Hmm. Hey, I just noticed! Rain Slash 2 actually got upgraded for the Soul Dots too, not just for Ground Battle. Nice. I never actually- I didn't expect that would actually make my Soul Dots stronger my, when my skills upgrade themselves. Okay. Arm. There! At once! Leave it to me! It's mine! Mistral Blade! It's my turn! Hmm. Okay, we're still go uh, good here. <laughs> Just finish this loser off. Aha! My turn. Yeah, this guy's dead. Yeah. You little. There. Now. Hmm, he's not doing his own craft. He's just nor normal attacking us. Yeah. She did very well. You guys, talk big, but you can't even unbalance us. Okay. Sorge. Sword. Head. Arm. Body. It's down. It's mine. It's my turn. Ha! Let's get them. They're mine. My turn. Ha! Yeah, it's mine. There. Let's go. Okay, now he's gonna do a craft. But I might be able to break him before he can even finish this. It's down. It's mine. All right. Leave it to me. Hmm. I can lower the enemy's defense. I got this. It's down. Everyone, go! I got it. I got it. It's mine. Yeah, yeah, This can't be. Ha! Done already. They're down! 
down! <laughs> we had him outnumbered from the start. Hmm? Wait, something's not right. Oh no, they have plot stamina! You think that is enough to stop us? We are the swords who will protect this great empire! It can't be! The flow of mana is turning against them. No, it's consuming them. <laughs> it seems you are yet inexperienced. It's so bright! Th that figure... Looks like he snagged it. Then our work here is done. Just in time for the Auric Knight to take the stage. I can hardly wait for the Jade Rook to show us what he can do now. Major Arundel, Enforcers, you've done very well. Hello, Eusis. What a pleasure to see you and Class 7 again. I had a feeling we'd meet soon. Those who seek opposing goals are bound to cross paths after all. I knew it. Hold on. That's a new Divine Knight! What's an Imperial weapon like that doing in Crossbell in the first place?! The Trial Grounds have little regard for the normal rules of time and space. They can appear anywhere throughout the Empire. This became a potential site the moment Crossbell became a province of Erebonia. It's as simple as that. This land has a storied magical history. The moment it was annexed, I began scouring it for a sign. And here, on the cliff overlooking Lake Ebel, this overflowing font of mana, I succeeded in evoking the trial. El Prado, he who embodies eternity, has finally awakened. The final divine night walks the earth once more. Uh. That would explain why magic knights and cryptids from Erebonia started appearing in Crossbell. Not to mention the Spirit Shrine. It's like how Vita opened the path to the Trial of the Azure Knight. I see. He must have learned from that. Which would mean he's been planning this since last year at least. I expected better of you. But this is why you took the title of Crossbell's Governor General, isn't it? <laughs> In part, yes. Now, I'm sure the Auric Knight could use some exercise after its long slumber. Care to join me for a little warm up? <clears> How <throat> oh, they just keep coming! Governor General, sir! Please allow us! There's no need for you to dirty your hands. <laughs> if that sorry display was the best you could do, then you're useless to me. Now stand down, before I kill you myself. As you command, sir. That's harsh even for him. He just wanted to help. Maybe act as meat shields. What is this aura? That's not all. He carries the Holy Sword of House Alborea. Stay on your guard! <laughs> Divine Knight or not, we just gotta take him down, right? I may have to use some of the stones. We may be outmatched, but at this point, it's do or die. Then we will see this through. Right. Here we go. Okay. Yeah, this looks good. Should I? Yeah, I'm using a de more defensive setup for the sake of surviving these types of battles. Let's hope it pays off. 
Really wish they'd give me the level 2 orbs already. Yes, this should be good. <laughs> Shall we have ourselves a warm up? 50% as usual. What? You can't just starve a craft? That's illegal! All I can really do is just find his weak point for now. Wide up there, mine. Literally can't even defend against this. My turn. It's down. It's mine. I got this. Yeah, it's mine. Holy flame. Okay, no one got in balance. That's good. It's my turn. Just several rain that stuff off. There. Here I go. Mm. He's in his idle stance now, and we. S <laughs> Hold on. Of course, he's targeting the one who has no chance of guarding right now. Of course. Let's go. Wait a minute, is he enhanced? That's not right. I don't know I don't know what that symbol does, actually. It's down. It's mine. <laughs> Sure. Oh no. And okay, I might delay him. I might be able to just have Yuna guard that one off. Yeah. You're mine. It didn't work. I should have checked his resistances. I see. Spirit, this Very is bad. Twenty-five percent. It's still not worth. It. Not worth it. It's down. It's mine. All right. My turn. Physical reflect. Yeah. Nope, none of his stuff does magic damage. My turn. Okay. In that stance. Gotta go for body. It's down! Everyone, go! I got Leave it! it to me! It's mine! Yeah. Ryan Combo! Very well. He's still targeting Yuna, who is guarded. It's down! It's mine! It's my turn! Now he's targeting you, and you're probably gonna die soon. Hmm. El Prado arms. Let's get them, they're mine. I see. My turn. 
Don't have impede ready. This is bad. Okay, but I can have... I can have him... Have him use this heal me later. Score some points here. It's down. It's mine. My turn. Twilight blades. Hold on. I can impede you, right? Is there actually something for that? Hmm. Oh, actually, it balanced you. It's nice. Leave it to me. Okay, now he's going after Kurt, but Kurt's pretty healthy, actually, so I'm not too worried. Spirit. It's my turn. Arms. My turn. He does not want to give up on that move. <sighs> All right. Now, eat this. That's what you get for being careless. It's my turn. Hmm. Okay, EX Art Saffron Rain. All right. Arm. Wide open. All right, everyone ready? ready? Leave, it to, Leave me. it to me. It's mine. <laughs> Very well. Oh, he still ain't giving up on that. Twilight Blades. It's mine! All right! Literally never gonna give up on it. Hmm. You can't escape! Fire! Now. Sure. Now he finally uses it. My turn. Uh. Spirit just to play it safe. Spirit! Sure. Yeah! It's down! It's mine! Leave it to me. Hmm. Spirit! I think I almost got him to the threshold. Ha! Wide open, they're mine! 
My turn. Hmm. Right. It's down. It's mine. My turn. Okay. I think, yeah, just I'm just gonna use his n normal, <laughs> normal stuff here. His normal finisher. I see. That's all you're capable of, I take it. Yeah, I. D I must try. <laughs> nice. A barrier. Excellent performance. I'd expect nothing less from Soldats linked to the Ashen Knight. But it's not enough. No. The Auric Knight needs more to draw out its full power. After our many bouts with Valimar, it takes more than that to defeat us. Yeah, this gaudy bastard ain't got shit! And we'll be here to offer you support. That's right, you're not the only ones with a score to settle. Clown Soleus, we need your full power! <laughs> How interesting. Know your place, children! We won't turn a blind eye to this treachery! We will protect him no matter the cost! <sighs> they caught us off guard! Not so fast! So do they not have the reactive armor thing that the Spiegels had? I thought that would prevent normal enemies from attacking them. The one that would just reflect all your attacks. The one that Scarlet used. Sorry we're late. Yuna. Ellie and... Lloyd! We made it just in time. Yeah, but it was a little too close for comfort. <laughs> now those are faces I haven't seen in a while. Joshua and Estelle Bright. Good to see you. And you even brought along some friends from the SSS. I really didn't think you'd make it through Valter's forces. Well, we did get some help from Arios and Yin. Well, wait, hold up. Why do you still look like a kid? It's been years. Campanella. Kruger. Or is it Sharon now? I'm surprised you of all people would choose to return to Ouroboros. It is a pleasure to see you again, Master Joshua. And Kruger will be just fine. I owe a great debt to Lenhart. But if I must fight you, then so be it. Aquinas! Whoa! 
Whoa! What? So, you've decided to show yourselves at last. I knew you were. I knew you were blue blonde. Ha! Ah, well evaded, Kruger. You clearly haven't lost a step. <laughs> it's like our own little Ouroboros reunion, isn't it? Lady Ren and. <laughs> what a lovely surprise, Blue Blanc! Oh, wait, Blue Blanc? But that guy's not. Allow me to formally introduce myself, new class seven. I am the one and only Phantom Thief Blue Block. Beneath the facade of the hedonistic nobleman you knew as Alistair lay Ouroboros' Enforcer Number 10. Though you may be more familiar with my gnome de guerre, Phantom Thief B. Phantom Thief B? The famous one? Perhaps Notorious is more accurate, but... Who's the girl with him? Now look what you've done, Blue Blanc. They're all confused. You're Thor's class seven, right? Tita's told me all about you. My name's Ren, and we're here to help. Tita, could you be the best friend she mentioned? Which would make the rest of you... Please tell me you brought the Goliath with you. That girl. K Kia. And she's not the only one. Man, what did we walk into? Quit it with the commentary. Let's just get out of everyone's way. How dare you! Your foot soldiers are no match for our soldats. You've really got to give them credit for finding their way out here. So, Governor General, what's the plan now? <laughs> I believe our entertainment has come to an end. Today is a glorious day. After years of slumber, all seven Divine Knights are awake once more. Further bloodshed would ill suit such an occasion, especially with Operation Jormungan nearing its dawn. <sighs> So this is a Divine Knight. I don't know what your intentions are, and frankly, I don't care. But be aware, this is but a temporary reprieve. I will be sending an extermination unit shortly, so I'd advise you to leave this place now. Rufus! All of this! Is this really what you wanted? Was gaining power as an Ironblood really all that mattered to you? Was it worth bringing ruin to House Alborea? Was it worth sacrificing Milium? Useless. <sighs> of course, it was all worth it. Everything before now was simply the first step. I will put everything on the line to achieve my goal. And there's still so much more I have to do. What? Perhaps I've said too much. Farewell, all of you. I can hardly wait for our next meeting. G Governor General! We should withdraw too. Aw, oh, I guess the party's over. I'll have to tell Lady Belle all about it. Until next time, so long. Right. I'd say you've got an hour to get your business done. Beyond that, I can't make any promises. Class 7? Special support section? Be seeing ya. Major Arundel. Damn it. After all that, they just let us go. Like we're nothing to them. Man, they don't get any easier, do they? Right. They are the ones who trapped us in the birdcage, after all. I believe it's time I made my exit as well. Farewell. 
Members of Class 7. Take care of my lady for me. Anton's not gonna show up at the last minute. No. Sharon. Elisa will want to know what happened here. Rufus mentioned Operation Jormungand. The serpent that swallows the world. What a fitting name for an all-out invasion of Calvert. The Governor General and Supreme Commander Van Dyke's plans must be complete. And we still don't know a thing about him. True. Though with a name like that, it can't be good. Hey! You guys alright? <laughs> Josette! Clearly they finished their repairs. And so the immediate danger passed. After Yuna and the others contacted Rose and drove the stake into the singularity. The branch campus students and their allies left on board the Bobcat 2. Yuna and the others, however, decided to leave Crossbell via the spirit path and began saying their farewells. Yeah, we're not going to leave our soul dots out here. Thank you all so much! Otherwise, Rufus is going to recycle them into those... Uh, ...sorges. I don't want to imagine how things would have gone if you hadn't arrived. Ah, don't mention it. We've all got to help each other out, right? <laughs> We have Yona to thank. He put us in contact with the other Branch Campus students. I'm just grateful we got everyone together in time. The fact that we pulled it off really shows how much influence the SSS has. Don't forget the Bracers. Yeah! And I never imagined we'd be working hand-in-hand -hand with members of the Society. Well, Joshua and I are former members. So you should just think of me as Tita's friend instead. <laughs> so, you really are that best friend she was talking about, huh? And, uh, about this masked guy? Hello, Phantom Thief. I'm impressed. You even had me fooled. My, and after all the time we spent together during the Civil War... Think of my assistance as my grand return to the stage I was so rudely forced off of. As well as a gift in memory of my most worthy rival, the debaucherous prince. Ah, Blue Block. Hmm. It was nice to have you on our side for a change. Thank you. Do take care. Oh, and you'll be working with Vita from now on, correct? <laughs> I most certainly will be, chess mistress. <laughs> oh, you must be... Yoha... No. Ash, isn't it? I need to apologize, first and foremost. I... None of us knew back then. The hell are you talking about, pretty boy? The name's Ash Carbide. I'm just some punk kid from Raquel. I'm not the kind of guy who'd know some fancy-ass bracer and his bombshell girlfriend. Oh, um... Joshua. Uh. Ash, is he... Another survivor of Hommel? <sighs> it's alright. We'd need more time for this conversation anyway. Goodbye for now, Ash. I hope we'll get to see you and the rest of Class 7 again soon. Likewise. Well, take care of yourselves. He makes a good point. There's a lot I'd like to talk about, but we're running out of time. That extermination unit will be here any minute. We better get moving. Lloyd. Ellie. I haven't seen you in so long, and now you have to leave. Don't worry, Yuna. I'm sure we'll meet again soon. Yeah. This is just the way it's gotta be for now. By the way, Randy and Tio have been telling me all about the great work you've been doing in the Empire. I can't thank your teacher enough for helping you learn and grow the way you have. The barrier in front of you might seem insurmountable, 
But I know you can do this. I know you can save him. We will. We're going to work with Randy to find Tio, too. No matter what. We'll contact you as soon as we learn anything. I'm counting on it. Thank you. All of you. Hmm. So the SSS members will be staying in Crossbell for now. And I take it you Bracers will be returning to Erebonia proper. That's the plan. We still need to find out where Tita, Agate, and Shara are too. Now that you mention it, we haven't heard from the Silver Streak since she contacted us from the capital. Yeah, now I'm starting to worry. Our Heimdall team might know where she is. If we find anything about her or the Russell girl, we'll let you know. I appreciate it. Very well. I will open the spirit path now. Class 7, it is time you return to Eren. It may be quite a distance, but the path is stable, so you should be fine. Got it. On our way. Let's get the hell out of here. Hey, Lloyd? Ellie? Can I go with you and Anne the others for a little while? Huh? Are you sure, Kia? Well, where'd this idea come from? I feel like I might be able to help them. And not just to collect information on Tio and Randy. But I think I can use the seven points to find out where their teacher is. How in the world? So this is why you were so interested when we mentioned the singularities. I see now. So this girl was the Zero Child. Then perhaps I should come along, too. Ren? If they're trying to locate the Ashen Chevalier, then they could use my skills just as much as Kia's. And you two might feel a little less nervous knowing I'm there looking after her, huh? Thank you, Ren. Estelle and I still worry about you, you know? All right, Kia. You can go. Take good care of her for us, okay, Class 7? That goes for Ren, too. Still, with these two on your side, nothing will be able to stop you. And now we're babysitting. Yuna, please take good care of them. Don't you worry about a thing. <laughs> Lloyd, Ellie, thank you! And hey, maybe I'll find out more about Tita and Shara while I'm at it. We'll all meet up again when the time is right. Okay, take care till then. Yuna you know, and the others watch the branch campus students and their other allies leave on board the Bobcat 2. They then open up the spirit path with the two new guests in tow. Really hope I grind it enough. Looks like you went up a rank. 84 is the correct number, right? Yeah. Here's a little treat. Ooh, me. Kaleido. Steady going, huh? Good. Here's a little treat. On me. Nice work, troops. I know it ain't easy. Auto save. Okay, that's it. Thanks for tuning into this Let's Play of The Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel 4. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, and or hit the bell icon.